As I'm sure you guys are already aware, these portable power stations or solar generators, whatever you want to call it, have become really, really popular over the last few years. And I think they're going to be even more popular, especially as like more people are working remotely or traveling. Uh, definitely if you uh, have any kind of electronics, you want to power your phones or, or laptops, computers. Uh, and uh, for people like me who do content creation uh, and I work remotely a lot or, or while traveling, these things will definitely come in handy. So I've already reviewed a ton of these from a lot of different companies because there's also a lot of companies coming out with these, especially again, as the demand goes up. Uh, and this is actually the second uh, unit that I got from uh, EcoFlow. This one they actually sent in to me for review. They're not paying me for this. And so I'll kind of share with you guys my thoughts, the good, the bad and the ugly, I guess. Uh, first, let's maybe got to get the boring stuff out of the way, as in all the specs. The EcoFlow the River 2 Pro uh, comes with a capacity of 768 watt hours. It weighs just over 17 pounds. The dimensions are a little bit bigger than the one that I previously reviewed. Uh, this comes in at 270 by 260 and then 226 millimeters. If you're charging this using AC outlet, uh, you'll be able to charge it at a whopping 940 watts, which means that you can take this all the way from zero to 100% in just 70 minutes. You can obviously also charge it using solar panels uh, up to 220 watts, which will take around five hours to fully charge this. The EcoFlow River 2 Pro has a built-in pure sine wave inverter that can output 800 watts with a surge capacity of 1600 watts. The, the batteries that are built inside this are the lithium phosphate ion batteries which uh, are rated at 3000 charge cycles before they start losing their efficiency. Uh, which basically just means that if you were to use this every day uh, for like your everyday normal use, charging and discharging it, uh, this, these batteries will last you 10 years before they start dropping uh, the, the capacity and even after that they'll only drop to around 80 percent so in short I, I don't think you're gonna have to worry about it i mean i think I mean, probably the casing and other things around it will start falling apart but the batteries will still last you this unit as you can see is a little bit bigger than the ecoflow river 2 max that i reviewed recently uh, it definitely does weigh a little bit more and that's because again it has the uh, bigger capacity of the batteries uh, but otherwise, very similar kind of design, which again, I think it works. It's sturdily built. It is all plastic, but it just feels well made. There's no like loose parts on, on any of these units. So uh, I had, again, if you're gonna take care of this, I think it should last you 10 years. To turn the unit on, you just press that button right there in the middle. Here on the left side of the screen, you're gonna see the number of hours till the unit is fully discharged or charged, depending on what you're doing. Uh, in the center, it's gonna show you the percentage of the battery right now that you have left. And then on the right side of the screen, you're gonna see the current uh, energy draw through either the AC ports or the DC ports. Here on the top left side, you're gonna find your USB outputs. Uh, there's three standard USB type A's and one USB type C, which uh, allows you to output up to 100 watts. And then obviously I can also in conjunction with that use the standard AC outlets to for example be able to power you know, any other kind of devices uh, that I might need like sometimes for example uh, I use my Starlink system to be able to get internet uh, off grid uh, or, or sometimes I'll just be able to use uh, some of the DC outputs uh, to be able to power one of my for example mobile hotspots. So essentially with this battery bank and then my laptop and uh, some kind of an internet source I'm able to do remote work even while I'm off grid. Now on the top right side is where you're going to have your regulated uh, DC outputs. There's one car port and two uh, standard barrel out outputs. These are regulated at 12.6 volt and 3 amps, uh, which is really great again when you want to be able to power devices and knowing that the voltage is not going to drop. And also, as you can see here on the bottom, we have a standard uh, AC outlets. There's four of them. There's also a, a button here on the side that allows you to uh, turn these on and off. Uh, by the way, you'll have the same kind of button to turn on and off these DC outlets. Uh, also here on the sides, you're gonna find uh, the vents and then in the back, you'll find two more connections. That's for charging. You have your standard AC and you have an XT60 connection that can be used to charge, uh, for example, uh, using a cigarette lighter plug from your car or solar panels. Now, when you get this unit in the box, you also find a DC cable. Uh, you'll find your standard AC cable, very thick, to be able to handle that 940 watts of input. Uh, they also give you a car charger. So uh, this thing uh, is not really practical to be able to charge this from zero to 100. I mean, if you wanted to, I guess you could on a really long ride, but it would take around eight hours. 
Uh, but for me, this is uh, particularly hel helpful when I'm, for example, in one location and I've kind of depleted, let's say, the battery to like 80%. And then I happen to drive to another location, I'll just keep this plugged in and be able to top off my battery uh, while I'm on route. So now in practical terms, what can you actually power uh, with this device? Uh, that's probably the number one question I get asked whenever I review one of these solar generators. And the answer really varies because it depends on what's the device that you're using and then how much power that device draws and that's how you'll know also uh, how long you'll be able to use this for. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some, quickly some of the real world sort of examples. So right here I've got the Aperture 120D light and uh, it's at 100% uh, intensity and it's being powered by the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. As you can see it's telling me it's going to last for 4 hours. And that's because this light actually draws more than 120 watts. It's actually 139. Now I'm powering this laptop, which is drawing 90 watts, and the EcoFlow will last around six hours. I'm gonna power this jigsaw for about five hours. Now I plugged in this giant heater, which is drawing at 792 watts. Uh, the battery is already down to 96%. I've had it going for a few minutes and it's gonna be able to power this for another 44 minutes. So I can power this standard desk lamp for 31 hours. So I just plugged it in uh, to the AC outlet to charge, it was uh, 90% and as you can see the input wattage it will be changing uh, as the BMS, basically the battery management system, regulates itself to make sure that it safely charges at the fastest rate possible. So the math for this is very simple. You take the capacity of this, which is 768, uh, and you divide it by the wattage or the draw of your device. So for example, like this light that I have up here draws around 100 watts. So 768 divided by 100 would come out to uh, more or less seven and a half, right? So you know it would take around seven and a half hours or, or this device can power this light for around seven and a half hours. Now, of course, another thing to keep in mind is that you cannot plug in here anything that will exceed the 800 watts of constant draw. Uh, so, for example, if you have, uh, like, for example, I have these aperture lights that are uh, over 1000 watts, definitely do not plug it into this because it will just, the system will shut down and then it's going to reboot itself. It's not going to explode on anything, but it's just not going to work with that device. Now, if you have something, let's say like a, portable AC unit, for example, or something that draws uh, within, you know, 800 or less, you know, watts, but maybe sometimes it surges, like while it kind of, let's say, the compressor kicks in, um, and it might sometimes surge for a few seconds to, uh, to let's say, 1,000 watts or 1,200 watts, when you know that this does have a surge capacity of 1,600 watts. So for those brief moments, it will be able to handle a heavier load. Uh, but again, it's not something that you can do uh, for sustained or long periods of time. Now, when it comes to the negative things, there is one thing that is uh, kind of annoying sometimes. And that's with both of the, the EcoFlow River 2 units. Uh, and that's the fact that it does get a little loud. The fans especially get loud when you're charging it at that maximum rate. Uh, here's actually I have this uh, one of them here charging and this is how it sounds. Definitely, if you plan to be charging it at that high rate, then uh, you do not want to have any microphones or, or basically be recording anywhere close to this. Another feature I really like about the EcoFlow River 2 Pro is uh, just like with the, the EcoFlow River 2 Max, uh, is that you can use this with your phone. So there's an app uh, for both iOS and Android, and that basically allows you full control of this unit but also you can use it to remotely monitor like what's happening with your battery. So as you guys can see, uh, definitely a useful device. It can power a lot of different things. Uh, and when it comes to my work at this point, it's pretty much a must. Uh, so I'd always have one of these solar generators with me. And I gotta honestly say that when it comes to EcoFlow, the two units that I've had a chance to use so far, uh, they're just basically outshine the competition, just the build quality, the, the, you know, the usability you have, the functionality with the app that allows you to remotely uh, control and also monitor the, the unit at the really fast rate of charge. Like a lot of times I'll, I'll get a last minute phone call, I gotta jump and kind of, you know, while I'm loading pretty much my car, uh, I'll plug this into the outlet and I have it, you know, fully charged or close to it. Uh, because again, in 70 minutes, you can, you can go from zero to hundred. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's just, again, a lot of these little features that 
and, and uh, basically capabilities that some of the other competition doesn't have. So uh, I can highly recommend whether it's this one or the smaller version that I reviewed before. So if you guys are interested, as always, uh, for the latest prices and where you can get these, uh, check out the, the links in the description of this video. And if you have any more questions uh, about this, then definitely don't be afraid to, to leave them in the comment section below. Or even better, head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com uh, and leave me your questions there. Uh, anyways, that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.